Wow. Okay. Lawlers, if you think two guns are better than one, this is the champ for you. This is Lucian, and especially if you like shooting beams of light instead of bullets to vaporize your enemies. So we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial and guide here on how to play this champ as a beginner. So we're just in a practice game mode. We're going to spawn an enemy bot and have some fun trying out a few of his abilities and combos here against the bot, just so that you guys can pick up the basics and fundamentals how to use his kit in some of your games, and then we'll jump in and, and try some of these out against an enemy AI bot and have some fun destroying them. So Lucian's a very aggressive marksman. You can play him in a bunch of different roles because of how aggressive he is. Um, top lane, mid lane, ADC, right? The world's your oyster as this guy as long as you can combo off properly. So we just recently did a guide with Aatrox that talks about, uh, you know, the the effectiveness and the need to combo your abilities properly and then how you can destroy people. Lucian is very similar, so I think this was a good guide to do next after Aatrox. Um, a lot of his abilities when comboed together really create a, a sum that's greater than its parts. So we're going to learn uh, his Q first here, Piercing Light. Uh, it's basically what it says. It shoots a light beam out that pierces the enemy, deals some damage. In terms of the piercing aspect, what that means is if you hit somebody, it actually extends the range a little bit longer past them. So you can see here, there's two parts of this ability. There's the first circle, that's where I can cast the Q onto an enemy, but then there's the line that extends out past that circle. So if we move up just a little bit here, you can see the circle is about at the edge of our first champ, and then that line extends out to the second one. If we Q this champ, it's actually going to go through and hit the person behind it. So the effective range of our Q is actually pretty, pretty long. Okay, and we're just going to auto refresh cooldowns here so we can have some fun with this. Right, piercing light goes through two people, damages, area of effect. Okay, very, very powerful ability. Now, this and every other ability Lucian has in his kit is going to interact with Light Slinger. So what this does is after Lucian uses an ability, his next auto attack will fire two shots. So it's doubling out your auto attack damage after each ability. Massive for those early game trades and big damage in those early game 1v1s. The other thing it does is the second shot deals a little bit more damage to champions and structures. Okay, so all in all, after using ability, you deal two more autos. So you can see here, if I just right-click this guy, that dealt one auto. If I Q, now right-click, it deals two. Okay. Now, the runes you're going to run with Lucian generally are going to be uh, this press the attack. Uh, rune that's going to let you do any time you deal three consecutive basic attacks you're going to deal 56 bonus damage um, to the champ that you're hitting okay and then they're going to be vulnerable and take a little bit more for the rest of the time so you can see here when I auto attack him once Q and then double it's going to proc that press the attack and it's going to deal a bunch of damage so that one three auto attack plus Q combo dealt 361 damage so pretty good. So level one, uh, not too bad of an opportunity to trade and pump out a, a good amount of damage if the champ gives you an opportunity to auto, Q, auto, auto. That's your basic level one or just single Q trade combo there, okay? Now the second ability you're going to pick up is your E ability. This again, similar to Aatrox like we just talked about, is a short dash, okay? now. Because we're dashing and we're using ability with Light Slinger or passive, we're going to deal two additional auto attacks. So instead of just auto attacking someone once, you can maybe auto attack, dash, auto, auto, and proc that to press the attack again, right? So another way to get good amount of damage off and just use one ability, right? Because you're getting three autos in plus an ability. So E also has its cooldown reduced by one second whenever Lucian hits an enemy with Light Slinger. So again, it's just another part of any time you're doing those auto attacks, you're going to be able to reduce the cooldown of your E. So early game, it's not going to matter that much, right? Like we're not going to have our cooldown reduced that much by the auto attacks. But late game, when you have items and cooldown reduction and attack speed, you can actually dash multiple times in a single fight. So how do we tie these two abilities together to really pump out our damage? So our first combo, like we talked about was auto Q auto auto and that's good that's the trade get out after that another combo is the auto E auto auto right and then get out after that that's another one that'll proc to press the attack but if you want to use them both in in conjunction what I would suggest is you E in auto auto Q auto auto and then start to walk away right the reason you want to use the E to open up the combo is every auto attack 
reduces its cooldown by two seconds after that. So you want to make sure that you use that ability first so everything after you use it is reducing the cooldown, right? So you're going to E in, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, and then start to start to run back. Now the W, which is your third basic ability, which we'll learn here, Ardent Blaze, is essentially just a weaker Q that you can tie into your combos. It has the added benefit of if it hits an enemy, it, it marks them and you can see them, right, and gain some movement speed, blah, blah, blah. Right, beginner level, it's going to deal a little bit of damage, like so, 75 damage, and it also lets you build that into your combo and reduce your E cooldown even more. So how this combo could look is you could E in, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, W, auto, auto, and then start to walk back and be in a good situation where your E is going to come up off of cooldown a little bit faster because you maximized it, okay? So again, Lucian, early game kind of champ just because he's so powerful with his basic three abilities. That's what I mean when I say he's very powerful early game champ. So you want to make sure you're utilizing those to the fullest and pumping that damage out when you're much much stronger than other enemy champs and then a good way to kind of combo that damage off we'll just auto refresh mana here so we have some matter right is to e in against the champ right so let's just say this was the enemy champ here you're going to close the distance start to trade by e in auto auto q auto auto w auto auto and then run back okay that's your basic three ability combo with Lucian. Now if we max up all the way to level six here, we'll just quickly get up there so we can talk about our ultimate. You're gonna be maxing your Q out first with Lucian, followed by the E, obviously a point in R whenever you can. But R is a very interesting alt. It's actually very hard to use well because it's a skill shot alt that lasts for three seconds or until he recasts it. Okay, so when you press R, he's just gonna start firing out like a line of bullets and as you move that line's going to move with you but it's always going to move in the direction that you cast it out right so if i cast it out of this crab it's just going to keep firing on that line then it's your job to kind of drive that line around and make sure you're always maximizing the enemy champ you can see if i use it against a champ who's moving laterally it's actually hard to stay on them because they can just dodge it so you're going to have to do a good job of when you cast that r of moving with the champ to make sure you deal that max damage. See that dash there? And then all that would have missed. So it's actually pretty hard to land in team fights. So the only thing I'll say with the alt as a beginner is try and use it in a way that the champ has to move like up or down on that alt more as opposed to left and right. So if you have them in a thin alleyway uh, like this, like they're all running in this alleyway to maybe come grab you guys while you're at Baron, use your alt in the alleyway. It's easier to make sure all that damage is hitting champs in the alleyway as opposed to if you were coming out of the alley and you're trying to hit these guys with your alt, they could just move left and right and you have this whole area to cover now. It's very, very tough, okay? so. Try and have fun with it. We're going to jump into a lane right now and just play against the bot and com combo some of these abilities off um, and talk about how you might want to pump out some damage. But really quickly, again, your basic combo here is going to be E in, in, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, W, auto, auto, and then keep moving around and maybe disengage. You can keep going in the trade and try and finish the champ off. And if your E comes off cooldown, you can go in again. But, you know, Level 1 to level 3, super, super strong is Lucian, so make sure you're, you're using that early game, right? Alright guys, we'll uh, see you in lane in one second. Okay, so here we are in our um, bot practice game mode. We're going to be facing off against the champ in lane here and just tying some of the abilities that we just talked about against some uh, trades in lane so you guys can see some of the damage numbers and how you can trade effectively. Uh, starting items, again, always pick up the Doran's Blade. You're going to be running uh, Flash Ignite with Lucian. I enjoy playing him in the mid lane. I'm a mid laner, so this is where we're going to be running him. You can do whatever we're going to talk about here in top lane or bot lane as well just with the specifics of each of those lanes obviously in mind. So Q ability we're going to pick up first. That's going to be a, a good opening trade ability or to help pick us up some last hits or even poke the enemy champ through the minions because of the extended range of that Q. And we want to be aggressive right from the start. I'm going to be trying to make sure I push the limit on this lane and get as much damage as I can through those double auto attacks that I get from my passive light slinger after I use an ability. So whoever I'm laning against, if they give me a chance to land a Q and two autos on them, I'm going to do it. Now to land the trade effectively, because we're running press the attack in our runes, I'd love to open the trade with an auto if I can. You're going to be against a lot of ranged mages in the mid lane, so this could be tough level 1, 
but if they give you a chance like that, that's how you do that combo. Now the thing you need to be careful of, especially early on before you get level 2 or while there's a big minion wave here is, you can see even though we landed a full combo now, he's healing, but just from minion damage and a couple autos and an ability from him, which you will eat, you're gonna take some damage back. So it's important that with Lucian, you're generally always kind of pushing the lane or keeping it in a spot where once you start a trade, you're not gonna eat too much minion damage. So now we picked up our E, we're gonna E in, auto, auto, Q, auto auto and then disengage now okay so you can see it took about half his health now he's using potions we're gonna pop our first potion now and we're gonna try and land cues if we can through the wave as well that's gonna extend our damage so we don't have to run all the way up into range to eat autos from this guy right you're gonna use your cue through minions to deal damage to the champ behind him so you could run up to a lane like that just barely missed him but you can see that range extends out and then you're gonna be able to deal damage through the minions to the enemy champ. Once your E's up, that means go time. So we're gonna E into him, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, W, auto, auto, and he's dead. Okay, that's gonna happen in a bunch of your lanes. You're gonna eat some damage, like I said, from the minions, because if you're e into the enemy champ and they have a minion wave, it's gonna hurt sometimes. So you gotta make sure you try and maximize your damage. If you get the kill like that, try and just make sure you're pumping out the wave with your abilities to kind of push it faster again, That that light slinger passive with the two autos helps you push waves too okay so we got a kill very quick here in the first couple minutes of the game with the champ being in lane it should only snowball from here okay because you're going to be getting stronger they're going to miss more creeps and you're going to be able to start to do more damage there's a bunch of different builds you can do uh and what's meta right now so here in the shop it's re recommending anti-tank we could build kraken slayer or if we want to go mobility we could build gale force it's really up to you and the champs you're playing against i'm just going to build a kraken slayer here just because it's the first item in the shop but take a look at the team comps you're against and what you need okay there's also builds with man immune if man immune strong because you're eating up a lot of mana with your trades and combos with Lucian you might want to build a tier in man immune and start stacking that up so you have a lot of mana in your kit. Okay but again we're gonna run back to lane here we have a pickaxe he just has a pair of boots and a ring so we should be pretty strong as long as we thin this wave out a little bit it should be a good spot to trade so here we're gonna E up auto auto Q auto auto W and if we can get one more auto auto off auto auto we're golden he's almost already dead so the beautiful part of that is if you can eat past the wave and not draw a bunch of aggro this wave is also just gonna freeze over here and now he can't even step up because if he walks up I can dash into him again and kill him with my combo so either you're gonna absolutely destroy your lane opponent because they're gonna keep walking into your E range your dash into your full combo or you're gonna slowly ice them out because they're not gonna feel comfortable enough to walk up to the wave and then you're gonna just grab the gold from your last hits they're gonna miss a bunch of theirs they're gonna miss experience from the minions dying and you're gonna be a higher level so E auto auto Q auto auto he's dead right like that's what happens if they step up at low health now that he's dead you wanna just make sure you push this wave out so you can use your abilities to do that right Q can go through multiple enemies and damage multiple enemies so you wanna use it in a good area of effect way through a whole line of minions and then when they're gone beat down the turret get those plates right we have our R up now so the next time he comes to the lane we'll use that to engage on him but for now I just want to try and get these plates okay you can use your Q in between autos you can use your W in between autos so again use your light slinger passive to get double autos on the tower instead of just one okay so again the Q goes through minions so if he's here I can actually damage him without taking any turret aggro by queuing through minions. That's a really important part to Lucian because eventually you may be pushed up to turret a lot and you're gonna have to queue through minions to get that damage on him. If I queue him under tower, I'm gonna take damage, see? So it's much safer to queue through a minion. Now R, if he wants to fight us, you can use your R like that, okay? If you have a, a clear line into him and again, it's a little bit more of that vertical shot instead of side to side. It's, a lot easier to hit it when you know someone's either trying to chase you down in a straight line or they're going to run away in a straight line. So there Ziggs got in front of his minions. He was going to be fully exposed to my R damage right in a straight line. So I just pressed R and just kited backwards. And if he wanted to keep chasing me to try and kill me, he's going to pay the price and die, right? So 
Or you can use it to kill champs like that while you're trying to disengage or deter them from continuing to run at you. You can use it to run people down who are in a straight line and maybe just like outside of auto attack range and if you land some of your ults you'll kill them. Um, you can also use it to kill them while they're under turret trying to farm minions or again make them miss more last hits. And you can even use it to clear up minion waves if you want to just push a wave into tower and then go back to base and, and get a cheeky buy off. Just use it on the wave and kill the whole wave. So now you can see we have our Noon Quiver, we have our Pickaxe, this guy still only has some very basic starting items. So we're going to check out the damage now on our EQW combo if he steps up. Again, we're being very aggressive, we have Flash Ignite again. I almost don't even care about this minion wave anymore. I'm just going to walk up, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, W, auto, auto, Ignite, auto, auto, gone. Right? So Lucian is a huge lane bully, especially if you're against um, a melee champ. I mean, this is even easy right now against a Ziggs, because if you can dash on to a fairly immobile mage, it's going to be a pretty good time for you. But against like melee champs who don't really have a hard dash or engage, it's, it's honestly, it's a joke. It's, it feels unfair for them. Um, it should be criminal, because you can just do whatever you want to them. You don't even have to dash in on those champs. You can just walk up and start your trade with auto Q, and then you can save your to disengage if they try and re-engage back onto you. You just become this huge, huge bully. Okay, so we'll actually stay in lane here. We have our ult back up. We have enough mana to cast it. So what I mean by you can use the clear waves is if you wanted to just push this in really quick right now and you were getting frozen here, you're scared of a gank, you could just press R and just use it on the wave or on the champ depending on where they are, right? And if they want to fight you, you can just kill them like that, right? If they try and stop you with the push. But if you just wanted to push that in and get a quick cheeky back off to like go and buy your first item or something, you could do that, okay? So we'll just finish pushing this out here. Uh, just so you guys can see again the power of the Q on the wave, I'm using my E as well, I'll use my W as well, I'm just trying to maximize the times that I can double auto attack with my passive and push that in, I just pushed a whole nother wave in, he's going to miss all this XP and all this gold again. Alright guys, so have fun playing Lucian, let me know how it goes in the comments, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like so I know that this, this type of content's uh, beneficial for you, I've changed up the beginner guides a little bit with the way we start them down the river with the, the practice dummies and then kind of take what we learn into the lane against the bot and do it and then I'll also try and post an actual gameplay with Lucian in mid lane so you guys can see how it works against uh, real players in the mid lane and how you can pick up some wins with them. So I'll catch you in the next one.